On this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do a Kitchener stitch. And for me, this is most commonly used when I'm closing up the foot of a sock. I knit my socks cuff down, and then when I get to the end, I have to close up this toe. So this is what a Kitchener stitch looks like when you have closed up your toe or whatever it is that you are Kitchenering together. And I have a sock that is ready for the toe to be Kitchenered. So I'm gonna show you guys how that is done. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut your yarn, leave yourself a good amount of a tail there. I would always rather have too much than too little when it comes to doing something like this. And then you're going to thread that tail through a tapestry needle. For this sock, I have decreased down to eight stitches on needle one and eight stitches on needle two. And we're gonna close this up. So the way that I do my Kitchener stitch to avoid any little flaps at the beginning or the end that can be left sometimes is I just dive right in with doing the Kitchener stitch. So you're going to take your tapestry needle and put it through the first stitch on needle one, knitwise. And then you're going to pull that stitch off. Then the second stitch on needle one, you are going to go through that stitch purlwise. And you're gonna leave that stitch on the needle. Then we're gonna go back to needle two. You're gonna go through this stitch purlwise and pull it off. So I just kind of do that all together. Back to needle two, you're gonna go through this stitch knitwise and leave it on the needle. And at this point, what I do, might be a little hard to see, but the stitch, the ones that you've just processed there are a little loose. So at this point, I like to give it a little tug to tighten up those stitches I've just processed off the needles. So then you're just gonna repeat those four steps. I will show you again a couple of times. You're going to go through the first stitch on needle one, knitwise, and then you're gonna pull it off the needle, needle one, purlwise, leave it on the needle. To needle two, purlwise, off, knitwise on, give it a little tug. Not super, super tight, but you wanna make sure you're closing up the stitch and that is the best time to do it throughout the four step process is after you have processed that fourth stitch, knitwise, left it on the needle, give it a tug. So again, knitwise, off, Purlwise on, purlwise off, knitwise on. And you're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and work this across and process these stitches and then I'll show you when we get to the end how you do the last bit. Okay, so I have processed the last four stitches just as normal and what you're left with is one stitch on needle one and one stitch on needle two. Now there are some tutorials and ways of doing the Kitchener stitch that will at the beginning, before you've even started, have you do something to start the process and then at the end there's an extra step to finish it. I've left those off, I've never done those. Um, what, I mean, I did do them the first couple of times I did the Kitchener stitch but what it was doing was leaving flaps at the beginning and the end with those extra steps that are added. I did not like that. So if you just dive right in and you leave those extra steps off, like I have done in this tutorial, it you don't have any little weird flaps that pop out of your toe or whatever you're kitchenering. It just gives a nicer, more finished, clean look, I think. So you've gotten down to these last two stitches. What do you do? I do not do the extra step to process those. You just pull them out. So you've already, these were the last two in the last four step process. So I did knitwise through the stitch on needle two 
and gave it a tug. And so now what I'm left with is it does kind of stick out a bit here. Don't worry, we're gonna fix that. The way that I do this, get my needles out of the way here. I like to stick my hand up into the toe of the sock so that it just makes it, I have my, two, um, my pointer finger and my middle finger here to kind of open this up so I can see what I'm working with. So you have your yarn coming from the back here and I can see here this was my the stitch that was on my front needle. So what I'm going to do is go down. You can see that stitch right there is what was on my front needle. I'm going to go into the center of that stitch. And it can be a little tricky here to pull it back inside. You just kind of have to work it with your fingers. And look at that. It's closed right up. There are no gaps, no weird little dog-eared flaps that stick out of each side of the toe. It is done. So now you have your end down inside of your sock and you can just weave that in on the inside of the toe and you are done. That is how I Kitchener the toes on my sock.